Hey! Imagine that you are above the North Pole. You have risen vertically in space enough to be in a position to see this hole. You would see the Earth, France, where there is the target, the Moon, which revolves around the Earth along this path. The sun on the left. Time. Here it is 6 a.m. The Earth rotates. When we are in this position, we move from night to day. It is morning. There, we go from day to night. It is then evening. It's around 6 p.m. So, if I start with this position, the sun lights up the far side of the moon. From Earth, we cannot see it. If I run the animation, I see a shape here that increases in size. It is the moon seen from Earth. So, effectively suppose we are here where the cross is. And suppose we are looking towards the moon. We would see the lit part of the moon, to its right. So, that's what we have here, the illuminated part is on the right. This shape is visible at 6 p.m. in the late afternoon. And, possibly here at the very beginning of the night. The full moon, which is there, is visible all night. I think you are already understanding why, when the moon is full, you see it from evening until morning, all night. The Earth, therefore, will have rotated. The number of days is the number of rotations of the Earth. When the Moon has made a full revolution in its orbit, the Earth will have rotated approximately 29 times. I show you each phase again with its name. New Moon. Waxing Crescent. First Quarter. Waxing Gibbous. Full moon. Waiting gibbous. 
Last or third quarter. Waning crescent. We can ask ourselves the question of whether, when the moon is in this position, is it not hiding the sun? The answer is no. It can happen, it's called a solar eclipse. It can happen, but the three stars sun, earth, and moon must be aligned. However, this is very rare. It's very rare, but it does. If the moon is between the sun and the earth, it can hide the sun, it is a solar eclipse. And if the moon is here on the right, and it goes through the Earth's umbra, then it's a lunar eclipse. That's it for this video. Thank you.